Hey folks, Bobby Phillips from Phillips Pest Control. Just wanted to give you a little quick run out, rundown of bed bugs this morning. Um, I have people all the time call me or when they have, think they have them, they, they always say, well, I thought it was just a, a myth or an or a old wives tale, but bed bugs are real. Um, anybody can get them. I don't care if you got the cleanest house on the block or in, cleanest house in town, you can get bed bugs. You can pick them up from anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna show you what they look like and, and some places to look for them. Thank you. Okay, we've got a, we already know that there are bed bugs here in this apartment. I'm just gonna kind of give you guys a, a little show right here to show you what they look like. That, is a bed bug right there we've done I've already treated around this seams of this mattress so he's moving kind of slow and there's another one of a different size okay if you suspect that you may have them you should check your mattress seams and you can see some old dead ones Take the seams of that mattress and pull it back like that where you can look down in that seam. Okay, we got a lot of, if you see right down in there, that light colored stuff there, that's what's called casts. That's where they go through several stages of growing and they shed their skin each time. So you could start out with bed bugs that size there, see how tiny that is? That's a brand new one. And as he grows, he'll shed his skin, leaving these casts. So look for those around the edges of your mattresses. There's one there. Oh. You can look for them on the floor, around your mattress. They don't necessarily have to be on your mattress. They could be harboring behind your headboard. They could be harboring in that dresser, anywhere, any little track or crevice. I have seen as many as six or eight bed bugs, newly hatched bed bugs in the head of a screw. So they can be anywhere. And that's why a bed bug treatment has to be so thorough. It, I always say it's about like moving out of your house and then moving back in after the treatment. Um, you know, some some companies uh, just do one treatment. We at Phillips like to go an extra, go the extra mile. We do, look at all the bed bugs there. We do an initial treatment and then two follow-up treatments at seven to 10 day intervals, which is uh, coincides with their hatching. So we like to take an, take an extra step and just to be sure. Um, but like I said, they can be anywhere within 15 feet of where you sleep or rest. They can be in your furniture, where you sit and watch TV um, when when they bite you, they dead in the area first. So, you know, nine times out of ten, you'll never know they're even on you. Well, that's just a little quick tutorial. So if you think you may have bed bugs, if you're getting bit, got little spots on you, you don't know what's going on, you may have them. And I'll go over here and show you another little telltale sign. If you don't see the bugs, take a look at your mattress. See that right there? During the night, if you have a bed bug that is feeding on you, you roll over, smash the bug. It's been feeding on your blood, so it's gonna leave blood spots. 
on your mattress. See one? See one moving right? A little tiny one right there. So anybody can get them, folks. If you're around South Alabama and you think you got them or you know you got them, call Phillips Pest Control in North Alabama. 334-493-6199. Thank you very much. Please go and like us on Facebook and YouTube. God bless y'all. Right, bye bye. Okay, folks. I know a lot of people think that bed bugs just be on your bed. And here, this is on the back of a recliner. So, anywhere where you spend much time, the bed bugs can be there. And they will be there. You know, if you suspect that you have them, you need to check all of your furniture, your mattresses, your dressers, your headboards, bed frames. They can be anywhere. And all of this starts, this was a pretty bad infestation. Generally, it starts with one female who can lay up to 500 eggs in her lifetime. And there you have a bed bug infestation. All right, thank you folks.